Yeah. <laughs> Looks like you can't wait to knock this over. If you'll just indulge me a little bit. Are you expecting anyone? Bobby. Oh, Gary, just what I need, an objective building opinion here. I'm getting ready to take off. I just want to say goodbye. Are you going before dinner? I'm not hungry. Well, well what about Mom? Bobby, I gotta get out of here, okay? You know, you don't look like a guy who just inherited $10 million. Yeah, well, I didn't inherit $10 million. I inherited the interest on it, an allowance. Well, if you cut a few corners and tighten in your belt, some careful budgeting, maybe even take a nighttime job, you just might slip by on a million dollars plus a year, don't you think? It's not the money, you know that. I almost wish Daddy cut me out of the will completely. I mean, leaving me the money this way, in trust, to be doled out like I was a kid. Kind of shows what he thought of me, doesn't it? Right up to the very end. You really want to share a Ewing oil? I'll give you half of my half. <laughs> if I had a sense of humor, I'd call your bluff and take it. You want it, it's yours. You're OK, Bobby. You're probably the only one of us who is. One of these days, you're going to have to tell me how you managed to pull it off. You don't need lessons from me, Gary. Yeah. I'll see you. You too, Christopher. You take care of your mom and dad, yeah? recognized you as soon as you came through the door. Oh, thank you. I'm flattered. Oh, I've read your book twice already. Twice? Meeting you is like meeting an old friend. Well, thank you. It's nice to receive such a nice warm welcome here in Dallas. Oh, I'm going to treasure this. <clears throat> uh, show Mrs. Ewing to Suite 903. <laughs> Thank you. 